Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Saudi ambassador to the kingdom, Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, who delivered to His Majesty a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, inviting him to attend the 31st National Festival for Heritage and Culture in Al Janadriya, organised by the National Guard Ministry under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to King Salman for the generous invitation which reflects the deep brotherly relations between the two countries. He praised the level reached of these relations in all fields in which they benefit both countries and their peoples. He also praised the role of the festival in maintaining Arab and Saudi heritage and its ability to attract intellectuals, researchers and cultural figures. He hailed the heritage, cultural, literature and art activities included in the festival, saying that it embodies the originality of the deep-rooted Saudi tradition. His Majesty the King wished the festival success in which it affirms the civilised role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the United Arab Emirates Ambassador to Bahrain, Abdul Reda Abdullah Khouri, who delivered to His Majesty a written letter from the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, inviting him to attend the fifth edition of the World Government Summit to be held in Dubai next month. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of the UAE for the invitation, hailing the brotherly and historic relations between the two countries, as well as the development of coordination and cooperation between them in various fields, in the interests of the two peoples. His Majesty also commended the high status of the UAE on the global level and its achievements and success in various fields under the leadership of its President and Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Commander of the Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, wishing his brothers in the UAE success in organising the summit. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Rafah Palace today the Philippines Minister of Foreign Affairs, Perfecto Yassi, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mr Yassi conveyed to His Royal Highness the Premier the greetings of the Filipino President and his wishes of abundant health to him and to the citizens of Bahrain, further development and prosperity. His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's keenness on removing all obstacles that stand in the way of cooperation between countries. He went on to add that facilitating ways for economic and political cooperation at bilateral and international levels between various countries of the globe will reflect positively on all, as it will enhance security and stability. He also asserted the high expectations of forthcoming policies that promote cooperation and coordination in a framework of mutual respect that serves the process of sustainable development and security that, unfortunately, has faced drawbacks in recent years. He continued to cite the outstanding ties between the two countries and the continued growth these relations are witnessing at all levels. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation to the Filipino President for his keen interest in broadening the scope of partnerships that achieve mutual benefits. He also stressed on the importance of senior officials' visits between the two countries in order to bolster economic investment and trade cooperation between Bahrain and the Philippines, lauding the notable role of the Filipino community in the kingdom in all fields. The meeting also discussed regional and international developments where both parties expressed their aspirations and global awareness of some policies that resulted in, co uh, beg your pardon, in corruption and devastation in the hope of reformation that steers current circumstances into more stability and development. The Filipino Foreign Affairs Minister expressed his appreciation for the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in strengthening bilateral cooperation and elevating them to higher levels of cooperation. He also underscored the Filipino government's pride for all the care the Filipino community received from the Bahraini government.
Under the patronage of the National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the ceremony for the distribution of certificates for the Bar Al Dur housing project to National Guard employees was held in Sakhir. The ceremony was attended by the Housing Minister, Bassam bin Yaqub Al Hamar, the National Guard's Director of Staff, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, the Housing Ministry Under Secretary, Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Housing Ministry's Assistant Under Secretary, Dr. Khalid Abdurrahman Al Hayden, and the Director of Housing Project Management, Hussein Salah. The ceremony began with a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran, followed by a speech welcoming the National Guard Commander, the Housing Minister and the National Guard's Director of Staff, as well as expressing appreciation to the National Guard Commander for his patronisation of the ceremony. Mr Alhammer then gave a speech congratulating the National Guard employees and indicated that the project is an implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa by building housing cities across the kingdom. The National Guard commander then distributed the certificates. The employees expressed thanks and appreciation to the wise leadership and the National Guard commander for their efforts in providing livelihood for the citizens. The National Guard commander also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives to allot Bar al Dur housing projects to the National Guard employees. The commander stated that the royal directives affirm the wise leaderships led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa's keenness to provide adequate housing for all citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Rationalising Expenditure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inaugurated the National Health Plan in a ceremony organised by the Supreme Council of Health in Issa Cultural Centre. The ceremony was attended by the Shura Council Speaker, Ali bin Salah Al Salah, and a number of ministers, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, senior officials, members of the Supreme Council of Health, representatives of health authorities and invitees. The Deputy Premier stated that the government is committed to developing the health system and policies, the follow-up of their implementation and ensuring the ideal utilisation of resources. Sheikh Khalid expressed gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support and interest in the health of individuals and the community, expressing appreciation to the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for the Cabinet's approval of the National Health Plan. He also thanked the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for the role of Coordination Committee in following up with the stages of this national initiative. He affirmed that the Shura Council is keen on supporting the health sector in the Kingdom despite the difficult financial circumstances. The Deputy Premier noted that the National Health Plan will give the private sector a major role in providing health care and services, urging capitalists to invest in the health sector to contribute to achieving the vision of converting the Kingdom to a health and treatment touristic destination. During the ceremony, the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the leadership for their wise directives and unlimited support for the health sector in the Kingdom. Sheikh Mohammed noted that the concept of the National Health Plan will enable the health system to operate in a legal framework and to make substantiated and accurate decisions. The Chief of the Knowledge Management Department in the Ministry of Health, Manal Ahmed, gave a presentation about the National Health Data Dictionary. Before the closing of the ceremony, Sheikh Khalid inaugurated the electronic website of the Supreme Council of Health and honoured the partners and support agencies in preparing the National Health Plan. Bahrain launched its National Health Plan on Wednesday, setting the strategic roadmap for the future of the healthcare industry in the Kingdom for the next decade. The plan is a realization of the Supreme Council of Health's strategic responsibility of setting the framework for the provision and quality of healthcare services. 
But the health strategy actually is the way to achieve the objective or the of the uh, 20 20 30 uh, vision of Bahrain. And it's mainly actually to provide all Bahrainis, the citizens, and the uh, people actually living in Bahrain with a kind of services, health services, which is, you know, uh, 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 with good quality, with good with, with equity, and uh, sustainable, and also competitive. And that's, I think, the main important mission that we are actually achieving. The plan revolves around seven key pillars, including improving healthcare safety and quality, enhancing the method of care delivery, ensuring a sustainable healthcare funding system, investing in training and capacity building, and building an integrated national healthcare system. It is the first of its kind on the national level. Our health plan consists of seven main priorities, and under each priority, there are seven uh, strategic objectives which consists of many uh, uh, initial initiatives and uh, programs and projects related to uh, all health sectors uh, from the public and military and the private sector. The plan brings together public, private and military health institutes and is based on their synergy to arrive at its objectives of providing sustainable and quality services to the citizens and residents. We have a, a very big plan to implement the quality of healthcare. Already we started training uh, surveyors. What we are going to do in May, we're going to start to uh, assess the, all the hospitals in Bahrain. We have a plan from May, from March this um, year till March, we will end the 22 hospitals that we have to um, uh, evaluate them on the basis of international standards. And today we witness the inauguration of the National Health Plan, an integrative strategy that paves the way forward for the future of the healthcare industry in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain International News. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the Filipino Foreign Affairs Minister Perfecto Yassi and Philippines President's Special Envoy to the GCC countries, Dr. Amul Aguiles, both on an official visit to the Kingdom. During the meeting, the Interior Minister welcomed the visit of both the Filipino Foreign Affairs Minister and the Special Envoy, which falls within the framework of communication and exchange of views that will strengthen cooperation and coordination. The meeting also discussed matters of mutual concern. The Interior Minister praised the depth of the excellent bilateral relations between Bahrain and the Philippines and the importance of such meetings in the development of ties, in addition to the expansion of scopes of partnerships. He went on to affirm the extensive efforts of the Ministry of Interior in preserving order, security and public safety for all citizens and residents, noting that the development plans in all security sectors stem from the principles of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. He also praised the mutual keenness of bolstering bilateral cooperation between the two countries in various security fields. The meeting was also attended by the Deputy Interior Minister, Interior Ministry Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Public Security Chief, Interior Ministry Under Secretary, and the Philippines Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met with his Filipino counterpart Perfecto Yassi today, currently visiting the Kingdom. The Philippines President's Special Envoy to the GCC countries, Dr. Amabel Aguiles, was also present at the meeting. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the Filipino Foreign Affairs Minister, expressing his pride in the outstanding relations between the two countries and the advancement these ties continue to witness at all levels. He also expressed the keenness of both governments to develop new new ways of cooperation that will strengthen mutual benefits in a manner that elevates joint development. Mr Yassi underscored his government's keen interest of further boosting ties with the Kingdom, expressing his appreciation of the great care the Filipino community receives in Bahrain, wishing the country continuous progress and prosperity. President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today artist Bahram Haju and representatives from the German Embassy in Bahrain on the sidelines of Haju's participation in the personal gallery held at the Arts Centre. 
Shekha may praise the artistic words of Bahram Haju and the gallery, which was held in cooperation with the German embassy, describing it as an added value to the cultural and artistic scene in Bahrain. For his part, Bahram Haju thanked Sheikh Ame for her efforts to enable artists from all over the globe to get informed about the artistic momentum in Bahrain, praising the kingdom's cultural movement. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, deputised the wife of the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Zain bin Khalid Al Khalifa, to attend the ceremony of the Almanar Elderly Daycare Society on the occasion of the 15th anniversary of its establishment. Sheikh Zain hailed the society for its care for the elderly and its efforts to develop the services provided to them. She affirmed that the Kingdom holds a leading role in the field of care for the elderly, commending all civil and private community organisations for adopting initiatives to establish facilities for the elderly. Sheikh Zain honoured a number of entities that provided support for the society since its establishment in 2000. She also reviewed the most prominent activities of the society during its 15 years of service. Members of the Board of Directors, Ashia al Mazuki delivered a speech in which she expressed thanks and appreciation to Her Royal Highness for her unlimited support for the society. Under the patronage of the Shura Council Speaker, Ali bin Salah al Salah, the Council organised a workshop titled Legislation on Penalties and Criminal Proceedings Between the Legislation and Its Impact on the Work of the Judge, in which a number of judges participated and was attended by Shura Council members. The meeting was an exchange of views and experiences, which serves the legislative process and strengthens the legal structure in the Kingdom. The meeting was headed by the chairperson of the Legislative and Legal Committee, Dalal Jassim Al Zayed, in which she welcomed the attendees and noted that this was the first gesture of cooperation between the Shura Council and the Supreme Judicial Council, the SGC. She also praised the support of Al Salah for his workshop, also thanking the head of the Cassation Court Chancellor, Salim bin Mohammed Al Kuwari, for his efforts, and praised the role of the SGC as well as affirming the continued cooperation between the two councils. It discussed the identification of the nature of the Bahraini penalty law and the code of criminal procedure, as well as controls and conditions for the provisions of criminalization and punishment texts. It also discussed the role of the legislature in a statement described the offences and established penalty, as well as its impact on the work of the judge. The judges noted the importance of this workshop to combine points of view regarding applicable laws. They expanded a number of applicable judicial principles in the Kingdom and noted some international models in the implementation between them and the ones applied in Bahrain. They also confirmed that legal materials texts in penal codes and criminal procedural law must be clear and noted the guarantees offered by Bahraini law to defendants, which differentiates Bahrain compared to many other countries. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,300.35 points, marking an increase of 22.41 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 67% of total shares. 113 transactions included 6,121,525 shares worth 1,258,426 Bahraini dinars.